Buksan natin dun sa Ephesians chapter 6. Verse, basahin natin verse 18 to 19. <clears throat> Ephesians 6:18 to 19. Andiyan na po kayo. Sabi po dito, praying always with all supplication, with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, and for me that utterance may be given unto me. That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, verse 20. For which I am ambassador, I am an ambassador in bonds, that then I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Tayo pa yaman alain. Amang banal mga pangyarihan sa lahat. Salamat po muli sa gabi nito na ipon pinakalob sa min sa pagkakatao na kami apoy sa masabang dumulog sa inyo sa panalangin. Kaya nga pong mo na sa making devotion po. Wala pong ipangamalala lahat, kundi ang dakilang pangalala lang. Nalangin po mga bagay na ito, sa pangala na yung panahon, so sa amin. Mahal na po kayo magsiyo po. Una po, nagpapasalamat ako sa ating Panginoon at sa ating pastor sa pagkakataon na tumayo dito sa kanyang in behalf, uh, dito sa kanyang pulpito. So, ang title po nating na devotion yun ay nakabase sa isang kanta. So, siguro naririnig natin itong kanta na ito. Uh, yung kanta ay, ang title ay Standing in the Need of Prayer. So, ito ay isang uh, old, uh, parang African-American spiritual song. So, hindi alam kung sino yung author nitong kanta na ito. So, ito yung title ng devotion ngayon gabi, Standing in the Need of Prayer. So, sabi dun sa lyrics ng kanta, yung part... Not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. So, yun yung title, Standing in the Need of Prayer. Makikita natin si Apostle Paul na siya ay tinawag ng Panginoon diba, na maging Apostle to the Gentiles. Pero makikita natin dito sa kanyang sinulat sa Ephesians chapter 6 na bagamat yung kanyang, sa kanyang katatayuan, uh, nais niya pa rin na yun nga yung... Uh, nili niya pa rin yung panalangin ng iba. So, the Apostle Paul, single out by God himself, commissioned in the will and the sovereignty of God, was not above needing the prayer of others. So, kung si Apostle Paul, kailangan niya pa rin yung prayer ng iba, so, mas lalo tigit tayo. So, sabi nga ng ating tema sa next week, diba, sa ating spiritual, sa ating Ancho Conference, uh, War Zone. So, tayo bilang mamanan ng palataya, uh, we all live in the same spiritual war zone. So, nasa spiritual war zone tayo. At ang prayer is one of our key defenses against the deception that is in this world. So, yung mag- yung makikita natin dyan. There are two things that we need to do in the spiritual war zone. May dalawang bagay na dapat natin gawin habang tayo nasa spiritual war zone. So, number one, Uh, first of all, we need to stand firm. Makikita natin yan dito rin sa Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 to 14. Sabi dito, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins skirt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So, dahil tayo na sa spiritual War zone. So, dapat natin gawin una, we need to stand firm. Kaya nga makikita natin, pag tinignan natin yung mga drawing dun sa, sa mga sumali dun sa poster making contest, yung uh, soldier, yung kanyang, uh, siya ay nakatayo, di ba? Na, di lang siya nakatayo, kundi uh, parang ina, naka-stand firm siya, matatag yung kanyang pagkakatayo. How do we stand firm? So, makikita natin yan dito sa verse 14 to 17 na nakasulat diyan yung uh, armor of God na, na pinagkaloob sa atin. So Ephesians 6:14 to 17. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fire darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So, itong mga bagay na to, yung armor of God, ay 
dapat na nasa atin upang uh, tayo ay mag-stand firm. So, tum uh, tumayo ng may katatagan. Na, sabi nga, as we stand firm, as we stand in the face of the enemy day by day, we are to stand firm, immovable. So, hindi tayo dapat na natitinag ng kaaway. Number two, hindi uh, lang tayo dapat, uh, we need to stand firm. Number two, we are to be praying at all times in the Spirit. So, inabasa natin sa verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. So, alam natin, di ba, nakasulat dun sa Romans 8.26, buksan natin dun saglit. Sabi dito, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself naked intercession for us which, with groanings which cannot be uttered. So, makikita natin dito yung sinabi ni Apostle Paul na yun nga, yung banal na Spirit to, the Holy Spirit, uh, is the one who leads us in divine prayer. So, prayer begins with God and not with us. Yun yung makikita natin dyan sa Romans uh, 8.26. Na ang banal na spirito na nanahan sa atin, siya yung uh, nag-guide sa atin sa uh, pananalangin. Sabi niya, he's not talking about some kind of prayer language. He's saying, we cannot pray in the Spirit until we are filled by the Spirit. The Spirit of God is the other advocate who helps us pray to the Father. So, yung nabasa natin dun sa Romans 8.26. So, itong dalawang bagay na to, uh, stand firm and pray at all times in the Spirit, ang kailangan natin upang tayo hindi magapi sa spiritual war zone. So, yun yung makikita natin dyan. So, dito naman sa, sa main uh, message natin, uh, merong tatlong bagay na makikita natin sa request ni Apostle Paul dito sa verses na ating nabasa, sa verse 18 to 20. Number one, uh, first, uh, we see the humility of Paul's request. So, yung kababa, kapakumbabaan ni Apostle Paul sa kanyang request. So, si Apostle Paul, itong mga Ephesians, hindi sila mga, mga Hujo, ba sila yung mga uh, Gentiles. Pero makikita natin na, na, na sinabi ni Apostle Paul dyan sa uh, verse uh, 18, Praying always with all prayer and supplication the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So sinasabi ni Apostle Paul dito na uh, uh, siya rin ay pag-pray ng mga uh, Ephesian believers. So, al kilala natin si Apostle Paul na siya ay hindi basta-basta, ba? siya ay uh, na-train dun sa feet ni uh, Gamaliel. So, at marami siyang uh, 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 alam. So, pero makikita natin dito yung uh, humility of his heart. He knows he can, he can and he knows God can alone can do it in him. Kaya hiniling niya yung panalangin ng mga uh, vision believers. So, yun yung makikita natin dito. He is not just someone who says it, he is a man who lives it out. He is a man who prays for other, pe for other people. So, makikita natin sa buhay ni Apostle Paul na hindi lang siya nanalain para sa kanyang sarili, kundi uh, pinapanalain din niya yung iba. So, marami tayong makikita ng verses na uh, patungkol dyan. So, tignan lang natin iba. Sa 2 Corinthians 13 verse 7, sabi dito, uh, He prays for the Corinthians that they would do no wrong. Now I pray to God uh, that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as uh, reprobates. Ganun din sa, sa Philippians chapter 1 verse 9 to 11, uh, he prays that mga Philippian believers that their love might abound for one another even more and more. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that you may approve things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness 
which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God. Ganun din sa Acts 16.13, makikita natin dito yung uh, eklesia sa Pilipay. Ito yung uh, nabuo dahil din sa panalangin. So, Acts 16.13, And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer was wont to be made, and we sat down and spake with the woman unto the woman which resorted thither. So, yung makikita natin si Apostle Paul. He is a man who walked filled with the Spirit and prays in the Spirit. He prayed for the people around him. So, they are not his enemy. He prays for, he prays for them. So, ganun din, kneeling niya na in return, yung, yung iba na ipag-pray din siya. So, yun yung makikita natin dito. We see, we, he is in the same war zone that we are in. He fought the same battles that you and I fight. Kaya makikita natin sa mga epistles na sinulat niya, nabanggit niya ron, uh, uh, he mentions the fact that he is bold, siya ay matapang, but that boldness is of the Lord Jesus. So yung kanyang katapakan, hindi sa kanyang sariling kakainan, kundi uh, yun ay nanggagaling sa Panginoon. So yun yung makikita natin dito. Look at the humility of the request that Paul makes in his prayer. So yun yung uh, num- number one na makikita natin. Isa rin na makikita natin dito, sabi nga, uh, kapag tayo minsan nagiging critical tayo sa ibang tao, di ba? Minsan sa ating kapuamanan ng palataya, kaya nangyayari minsan kasi uh, hindi natin din sila uh, pinapanalangin. Tandaan natin, sabi nga na ang ka- We do na, ang kaway natin ay hindi yung flesh and blood. So, yun yung atandaan natin. Since we don't war against flesh and blood, we need the strength of praying for one another. Kaya dapat tayo magpanalanginan sa isa't isa. Yun yung makikita natin dyan. Number, uh, number two, uh, na makikita natin dito, uh, the sincerity of Paul's request. yung katapatan ng uh, request ni Apostle Paul na kung bakit siya humingi ng uh, panalangin dun sa iba. So, sabi niya, when a man is under pressure, something will surface to show where his heart, where his heart really is. So, many times you cannot see, but when any of us are under pressure, that is when our true heart begins to surface. So, doon nakikita kung sino talaga tayo kapag under pressure. So, dito makikita natin sa verse 19. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known uh, the mystery of the gospel. So, hindi pinalaan ni Apostle Paul na siya ay uh, maalis dun sa kanyang karit na kalalagayan. Na alam natin during, <coughs> during that time na hina siya ay parang papunta na sa Roma at siya ay uh, parang pri- prisoner. So, at sa- sabi niya dun na hindi niya hiniling na siya ay makalaya dun sa, uh, sa prison, kundi uh, hiniling niya na, niya na magampanan niya yung kanyang tung- yung tungkulin, yung assignment na binigay sa kanya ng Panginoon. So, yun yung, yun yung makikita natin dito. So, sa Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1, sabi niya, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. Ganon din sa Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, nabanggit niya ulit, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. So, yun yung uh, makikita natin, the sincerity of uh, Paul's request. Ganun din, makikita natin dyan sa 2 uh, Corinthians 2 verse 14. Sabi dito, Now thanks be unto God, which caused, always caused us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of His knowledge by us in every place. Makikita natin dito yung word na triumph. So, tri- triumph o sa Greek, uh, tram- triumbuo. So, nabanggit ng ating, siguro na kung ating natatanda, di ba yung nabanggit ng ating pastor na yung kapag yung mga, Rom, yung mga Roman general, kapag sila nagtagumpay dun sa kanilang kalaban, so, 
sila'y dumarating na uh, merong yun nga, yung uh, kasama, uh, kasama nila yung mga bago sila dumating doon sa kanilang lugar so parang inahin, may inahanda yung mga, yung tao o yun nga sabi dito yung uh, saber yung sabi dito uh, always triumph so yung so makikita natin dito na ito uh, ano ba yung sabi ng tri- triumph so Uh, makikita natin na uh, yun nga yung kapag yung isang yung Roman general siya nagtagumpay sa pag-conquer doon sa kanyang kalaban so ito y- yung kalaban nila dadalhin nila isasama nila doon at ito yung nakatali doon sa kanilang uh, chariot so they would send out their army and if they were victorious they would send a runner back the runner would come in with some incense and spread the incense around the town so malalaman ng mga tao na dumating na yung kanilang uh, army at sila ay uh, nagtagumpay. So, ganun din si Apostle Paul, ano yung relation dito? Uh, the Apostle Paul says that it is the same thing in the believer's life. He said, I have been conquered by Jesus, I have been absolutely captured by Christ, I am a prisoner of Christ, wherever I go, I am chained to his chariot, I know I am prisoner in Rome. However, I am a prisoner of Christ. Wherever He leads me, He will lead me in His triumph. Na bagamat si Apostle Paul siya prisoner prisoner sa Rome during that time, alam niya na uh, ang pangin pa rin ang magbibigay sa kanya ng uh, tagumpay. So, yun yung pangalawa. Number three, uh, the integrity of Paul's prayer. So, sa verse 19, makita natin dito. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Merong tatlong words na makikita natin dito. Yung una yung utterance. So, utterance, what does he mean by utterance of the gospel? So, yung utterance sa uh, Greek, yan ay, uh, yung word niyan ay logos, comes from the word that means to speak intelligently. So, he's talking about presenting the gospel doon nga sa, pag, uh, sa Rome. Uh, but we got, to, we got to remember, Paul has been assigned the ministry of preaching the gospel to the Gentiles. So, ang, ang target ni Apostle Paul doon nga na uh, sa kanyang pagpunta sa Rome ay may bahagi niya rin yung gospel ng Panginoon, lalo na doon sa household ni uh, Caesar. So, Parang sinasabi niya, I don't know how to do it in such a way that they can understand it. So, yun yung makikita natin dito. Atterrance. So, hiniling niya na, yun nga, na may bahagi niya yung gospel dun sa mga tao sa Rome, particularly dun sa uh, household ng emperor. So, pangalawa, uh, that I may open my mouth boldly, o yung uh, the word boldly, yung bold, boldness. So, yung word naman yan ay parhesia. It means confidence and boldness. So, sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, nais niya na i-present ang Panginoon. I want to present Christ intelligently and with power and with confidence to those who, hold, who held him captive. So, he wants to have the ability, God-given ability, to share it in such a way that it is understandable with intelligence and it is reasonable So they can see that a gen- as Gentiles, God's, God loves them just like He loves His own people, the Jews. So yun yung nais ni Apostle Paul na may payag niya ng may uh, katapangan yung uh, gospel ng Panginoon. May pakita niya dun sa mga Gentiles sa Rome na sila rin ay mahal ng Panginoon gaya ng pag-ibig niya sa mga Hudyo. At yun nga yung pangatlong word, uh, the mystery or mysterion. So... Makikita natin yan, yung mystery na yan ay tinutukoy dun sa pagbinalikan natin yung uh, sa Ephesians chapter 3 verse 3 to 7. Ano yung mystery na tinutukoy dito? Yung mystery, sabi nga dyan, that the Gentiles are included in God's plan for this world. Na yung plano ng Panginoon na hindi lang iligtas yung mga Hudyo, kundi kasama na yung mga Gentiles. So tayo, 
He explains it very clearly in verse 3 to 7 sa Ephesians chapter 3. So, yun yung makita natin dito. The integrity of Paul's prayer. Sinasabi niya, I have an assignment and here I am in prison. I am not asking for myself. I am simply asking these people to pray for me so I can win the battle over fear, so I can win the battle over intimidation, so I can with boldness preach the gospel. So, yun yung nice ni Apostle Paul. Sabi rin niya dyan sa verse 20, he is an ambassador in chains. So, siya ay uh, naka, nakakadena. So, alam natin yung ambassador, di ba, na siya ay uh, representative ng uh, kanya bansa dun sa ibang lugar. So, uh, yun yung makikita natin dito. So, ano pa yung makikita natin dito? Na nasabi ni Ap- Apostle Paul. So, uh, dito, makikita natin kung paano ang Panginoon ay gumawa at kumilos dun sa kanyang panalangin. Kaya makikita natin na yun nga, na uh, pag nabasa natin dun sa Philippians chapter 4 verse 22, yung naging resulta nung uh, pa, uh, request ni Apostle Paul sa kanyang panalangin sa Philippians 4.22, sabi dito, All the saints salute you chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. So, sinagot ng Panginoon yung kanyang panalangin, nagampanan niya yung kanyang tungkulin, na share niya yung gospel, kahit dun sa uh, household ng emperor. So, yun yung makikita natin dito na uh, ang Panginoon, uh, siya ay gumagawa at kumigilos uh, sa, pan- sa, pa- sa panalangin. So, kapag tayo nangalangin sa isa't isa, ang Panginoon ay gumagawa at kumigilos. So, in conclusion, the humility, the sincerity, the purpose of Paul comes out in his request. So, yun yung makikita natin dun. Also, the integrity of Paul's prayer uh, blesses us. When a person is spiritually is reflected in the request that he makes in his prayers, none of us are above asking others to pray for us. We are all desperate. So, ang bawat sa atin, kailangan natin ang panalangin ng isa't isa. Na hindi lang tayo nanlayan para sa ating sarili, dapat pinapanalangin din natin ang isa't isa. So, particularly, lalo ng ating um, mahal na pastor. So, tayo po ito may lahat. Tayo may nalangin. Ang mga banal, mga kapangirayan sa lahat, salamat pong muli sa uh, mensahe na aming mga pakinggan. Tunay nga po na kailan nga po namin ang panalangin ng uh, isa't isa. Tulungan nyo nga po kami na mag, uh, patuloy na magpanalanginan sa isa't isa. Kaya nga po ang gumawa kumilo sa Boy po ng bawat sa pasamin. At lang po mga bagay nito, sa pangalan na aming panong susamin. Ayon na po kayo magsipo.